Hi there people, oh boys here. Today I'll teach you how to stack screens in Elementor while you scroll. If you wonder how the screen stacking is supposed to look like, well, you're just looking at it. It's a nice and simple effect that can be used to make the content scrolling more interesting in a visual sense, of course. It's a common practice to arrange the content into the screen size pieces, especially when it comes to the one-page website design. However, this technique can be applied at will whenever or wherever you find it suitable, on any page or particular sections of the page only. So let's do the work. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to recreate the demo file. As you can see, the demo file does not include only these screen size sections. Some of my sections are taller and some of them are smaller. Some of them are sticky and some of them are not. My goal is actually to be as realistic as possible and then it's up to you to decide in which context you want to use that screen stacking technique. Okay, here's my first section. How do I make the section always match the viewport height, be it a tablet or mobile or anything in between? So in Elementor you can go to the layout tab and the namesake the layout panel and then simply choose fit to screen from the height drop down. As you can see, the section is now being stretched vertically. You locked its height, which means that more content won't make it any taller. However, there's a small bug in Elementor when it comes to fit to screen option and mobile devices. I'm gonna pay your attention when I get to that part and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So memorize this one for later. Next, I'm gonna add a few more sections, one after another. And because you probably know how to create sections with some content, I'll speed all up to save some time. I'll simply copy paste ready-made sections one by one. You'll be able to download the training file anyway. Once done, I'll get to the point and explain how to set all up properly. Alrighty, now that I have my content ready, let's change the stacking order of my sections first. The stacking order is Z-index based, which means it relies on one simple rule. The closer the section is to the bottom, to the page bottom, the higher will be the Z index. So my very first section will have a stacking order of one. You can think of it as the bottom most layer. Every other section is supposed to get atop of it. That's why the second section Z index will be two. And every next section will have the stacking order higher than the previous one. Maybe, and just in case you plan to prepaint more sections subsequently, it just, it's just, it's a good idea to increase that index value, I don't know, five or more units up instead of just one. That's how you'll be able to insert new sections between existing ones without having to increase that index of all other sections below the newly inserted section. I hope it makes sense. Okay, the stacking order is all set up. Let's figure out which of my sections are suitable for screen stacking and which are not. I guess it's all about the logic which tells you that you won't make particular sections sticky if the content amount makes it taller than the screen. That's how your content will be cut off and thus unreadable, so you won't do that. You'd rather make it go with the flow, so to speak. My first section is going to be sticky, okay? I highlight my first section, then go to Advanced tab, Expand Motion Effects Panel, and make it, make it sticky. That's pretty much it. Please note that sticky on option which allows you to unstick the section for the particular device. So in case the content gets cut off on a certain device, simply disable the stickiness. We'll get back to this one a little bit later when testing responses, okay? The section number two has too much text to, to fit any viewport size, so I'm not going to make it sticky, it just doesn't make any sense. This one will go with the flow, alright? The third one should be okay, so I'll make it sticky by going to the motion effects panel and choosing top from the sticky option drop down list. I think that I'll just do the same to every other section that I have on my page and then use responsive view to see how all of them perform in responsive mode. In case some of my sections content doesn't fit the, the, the screen vertically, I'll go back to its motion effects panel and simply disable stickiness for the target device. You could also apply some scrolling effects to your sections or, or the section content if you want to. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just drawing some random clues, okay? You might take it as a homework. Alrighty, let's now take a look what needs to be fixed. First, 
I'll switch responsive mode to tablet and see how everything looks like. As far as I can tell, everything is pretty much okay. None of my, none of my sections get gets cut off, so I'll just switch responsive mode to the mobile view. Oh yeah, oh yeah, now you can clearly see that bug in Elementor that I mentioned a while ago. For some reason, all of my fit to screen sections do not fit the screen as they are supposed to. They got shrunken to the size of the content. And in case there's no content, the section will probably become heightless. So how to fix it? You can fix it by using the custom CSS code. However, I'll rather use the Breaking Bad extension, which is the part of the Steroids for Elementor add-on. And I'll simply highlight the column of the sticky section and make it 100% of the viewport height. So be sure that the VH unit is selected and simply drag the slider all the way up to the left. That's what needs to be done for each and every broken section column. Steroids for Elementor add-on is free. You can download it from the official WordPress plugins repository and the link can be found in the description of this video. You can also find the download link to the to the training file of this tutorial and maybe some other interesting links too. Just take a quick look, okay? Alrighty, I'll got, I, I got it all fixed now. No more shrinky sections. And the only thing that doesn't look right is the section number, is the section number four, I think, it's four. You can see that the content does not fit the viewport height, so I'll simply disable this section stickiness for mobile devices under the motion effects panel, just like I mentioned before. Everything else should be okay and working as expected. So, are there any drawbacks to this technique? Well, the only one I can tell is that you're gonna lose add new section and add template buttons that are usually found in the very bottom of the previous screen. It's simply because all of my sticky sections are hiding it. It's not lost for real. So, in order to kind of fix it, temporary, you can open page settings by clicking on that cog icon in the lower left corner of, corner of the editor. And once there, select the advanced tab and add the following CSS code to the custom CSS panel. So I'll just copy paste. That CSS rule will make add new section on top of all other existing sections on stage. Personally, I think that the issue should be addressed to Elementor because add new section is the tool, just like the navigator. The navigator is always found on top of everything else on a stage. So I guess add new section should not be neglected in that sense. All right, hopefully it didn't take too much of your time to watch this tutorial. I'll be glad to hear your comments and suggestions. I appreciate if you share my videos or just spread the word. That will be fine too. Thanks for watching, stay well, peace and love.